Hi guys and welcome to a short update video. So this is just to let you guys know where I am and um, where the channel is and where the server's going, all that kind of stuff. Uh, just like really as a quick, quick update. So I'm going to try and keep this really, really short, hopefully. Um, so you'll probably notice that there's been a little bit of a lack of content lately and, you know, variation on videos has kind of died. This is mainly just because I've recently changed my job, so I'm, I'm actually in a more technical role. Um, because of that, it's kind of like knacking me out. I'm still not used to used to it, so I'm using my brain a lot, a lot more than I used to. Not saying that my other job wasn't challenging in that way, but uh, you know, there's a lot more thought and scripting and stuff. So I'm not doing, doing like kind of programming type stuff, um, which does take it out of you. So by the time I get home, I'm knackered. So at the minute, I, I've just been, you know, come home and I just like sit down. I'm just like, oh my god, I can't do anything. So I've kind of uh, just been a bit tired, which is why why there's not been as much um, coming out. The other thing is that just like. Um, But it's starting to get a bit annoying with biomes, it's at, like not just with Conquest, but with um, LD Modern as well. It's been a real challenge, I think, and and because of that, it's kind of like made me go, Ugh, I, I don't know if I can be bothered, um, which is always a bad thing. So I've kind of got, and, and this happens with all games, especially with YouTubers, you get kind of get a slump and you just go like, oh, I don't, I don't know if I want to do this anymore. Um, I still want to do it. I still want to play it and, and build and stuff like that. So that's not really stopped. It's just that I've kind of gone, ugh. Um, which kind of like brings me on to the next bit, which is um, uh, kind of like the server and stuff. So I think what we're going to do for the medieval side of the server is actually uh, put everything onto the Conquest Reforged mod. Um, Backcraft has always really been a, a, a builder server, and using the metadata to do that is is it's like modding without modding. And I think the only way we can really move forward is by by using mods, um, and you know. The Conquest Reforged mod is absolutely brilliant, it's got its own launcher, it's nice and easy to use, uh, and it adds in all the Conquest stuff, so you get the whole like medieval thing going, so I think we're probably going to end up upgrading or, or creating a new server, we're not really too sure what we're going to do yet with that, if we're going to you know, keep the old 1.7 stuff uh, on plots and things as an archive, or if we're going to move them over and use MC Edit to convert the metadata into the new mod blocks. Yeah, so we'll, we'll have a look at kind of like what we want to do with that, and. We don't know yet. We, we don't know what we're going to do with that. Um, that's kind of like up for discussion at the minute. But um, yeah, I think that will kind of really reignite um, me building, uh, definitely. Especially since the Conquest Reforged mod has got some absolutely awesome, awesome Roman blocks. Uh, some Roman textures that Origins has done. The guy, the guy that made the mod is also, they've got a texture pack, um, which is like an add-on to Conquest. It's phenomenal. It's just wicked that they've actually added those into it and added it into the Conquest Reforged mo uh, mod. And I think, you know, without the using biomes and things like that, it's just going to make it so much easier. Um, so I know that a lot of people really like the Roman series. I really like the Roman series, but I've just been like struggling with it because of to do interiors with it is such a nightmare with the <laughs> with the actual biomes because of the brick textures on the roofs. Um, so I've been like, it, it it was just always difficult, you know, like when I was building it, and because I did a lot of the interiors off camera, um, trying to make it so that the biomes aren't affected it was an absolute nightmare. I mean, there's no fault of uh, Monsterfish. He's done an absolutely brilliant job with actually getting uh, you to be able to do most of the variations uh, with without you know with one texture. But it just like got such a nightmare where I was trying to find them and just cycling and cycling and cycling through biomes. Whereas with the Conquest Reforged mod, you just it's just a different block. It's 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 nice and easy. Um, so you probably see that, that that those kind of series and the medieval stuff will probably start up again once I've got the medieval uh, Conquest Reforged server going. Um, and I'm more happy with that. And then I'll convert over um, Olza Dacross into that new one, um, into all the mods. That, that'll take a good chunk of my time up. Um, hopefully I can just sit there and just convert over the blocks. There'll, there'll always be some bits that won't work, but it'll be fine. Um, so that'll be really, really cool to get that done um, and working. Um, of course, with doing that, it, it'll kind of be a bit weird. Um, we're, we're actually doing that. Um, there isn't really a modern one. There's not really a mod, mod pack that will do the same for modern as has Conquest Reforged has done for the medieval side of things, the medieval creative side, I think. Um, and it's done brilliant. It's just been really good. So um, what I've actually started doing is I've started writing my own mod, um, which is not actually that difficult. It's like Minecraft's a really weird thing because they just keep on changing the way that they store blocks so they want you to register IDs. And it's just really weird how they've programmed it. It's... As somebody that works now in programming and and who um, 
who does quite complicated logic stuff as as my job. Um, it's really weird <laughs> just looking at, at like Minecraft and trying to figure out how, how to do things, and it doesn't work the way that I would have done it, or or what would be like an industry standard, at least in in my industry anyway. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, starting to get there with the mods. Um, so I'm just gonna the, the kind of like first idea will just be that no matter what texture pack you use, it will um, pretty much just pick up default textures. So a lot of the 3D models, so I've got like for example a lamp that you can right click and it will actually admit light. Um, that's actually just pulling from the default textures. So what will happen is if you put a texture pack on top, it just pulls from those ones. So it will just you know use the wool, it'll use the glowstone, it'll use the quartz. Um, that's how I kind of want to bring it forwards. Um, and then probably go on to more specific stuff. So there is going to be extra blocks. Um, I'm already working on some copper and some uh, something called um, patina, which patina is actually like that oxidized green copper. If you've ever seen it, um, it's really it's like used in really cool roofs and things like that. Um, so there will be some extra blocks that uh, if somebody came along with a texture pack, they would they would just have to add in a couple extra blocks. Um, it'll be fine. It, it won't be too bad. But the the original idea is just to you know, for example, get every single block with a stair and a slab and a fence and a uh, yeah, fence, fence gate and cobblestone wall and a snow layer and a carpet maybe and a trapdoor. So basically just make it so that you just can be creative so you can go, ah oh, man, I really wish I had like a red wall trapdoor and, and it'll just have those in the pack. Um, so you can come on with a default texture pack and just start building uh, in that mod pack and, and, and then it's a little bit nicer and then everything just kind of like lines up in a way. Um, that's the idea anyway, rather than using metadata, which metadata you can put whatever you want in those those things, but if you've got a mod and you've got nice names, um, you're kind of a little bit more like, ah, oh, well, that's a copper block, it's going to be an orange block, so then everybody that, if they're using different texture packs, uses orange block or something like that, I don't know. Hopefully. <laughs> you, know, so, yeah, you can do whatever you want, really, can't you, with textures, so... Yeah, that's the idea anyway of the mod. Um, no idea where it'll be finished, it's... <sighs> I don't know why Mojang has done this JSON file thing. Um, like stairs, my god, I've just gone through the coloured wall stairs. It's taken me like two hours to do, so I'm, I'm going to end up scripting something, I think. I'm just going to end up writing some sort of script somewhere that will just create them for me, because my god, it's all it is is copy, paste, and change a couple names, and it's just like, oh my god, why? So JSON files, dot JSON files is the reason that it's slow. I could actually probably get it done by the end of today, um, and today's a Saturday. Um, but there'd be no textures and it wouldn't map to anything and it wouldn't actually look very good. It would just have that, <laughs> if you've ever seen the, the textures when it has no texture, it's just like these this black and purple checkered box. I could probably get all the blocks in really, really fast, but then the, you wouldn't be able to see the textures. So I'm working my way through it and just adding the textures in bit by bit. Um, working, going to be working very, very closely with Nick Goss, who um, is Cerulean Capuchin on YouTube. Um, Nick's now going to uh, has taken over the LD Modern texture pack, and he's going to be texturing into that. He's doing some or already from the last update you probably saw. He's added a load of really really cool stuff. So once we get the mod done, we're going to end up working really really close together to try and uh, marry these up. So say if I did add I don't know um, black steel or something black steel blocks, then he'll be able to texture those black steel blocks, and then when the new mod version comes out, um, the LD Modern like texture pack will also match that and then anybody that's making another texture pack um, with these with this mod can then just have a look at how Nick's done it that would that would be quite good I think um, just in case anything ever changes um, it'll just make it a little bit nicer but but the main idea of the mod is just to allow you to be creative because I think it's one thing that that Minecraft is is just lacking is the creativity side they haven't really they haven't really added anything for us creative people for God knows how long. Um, I mean, they've got the purple slabs. Purple or pink slabs and stairs and stuff. It's like, no, why not just... Oh, Mojang, all you need to do to make our creative people happy is just by adding stairs, slabs, like fences and trap doors and just just allow us to do everything that you can do with one block, with all the blocks, like anvils, coloured anvils. My God, that would, that would do it. Just anything. Please. <laughs> But you know what I mean, guys. Um, it would just like uh, that's the, that's the part of Minecraft that I think is just lacking. And um, the idea of doing it with mod, it's not the ideal way to do it. But um, yeah, I think it's it's just going to be one of those things. And since adding blocks to a mod is probably one of the easiest things you can do, it's the logic type things and and that kind of goes wrong. That means that when it 
when Minecraft updates, it should be quite easy to transfer over, as long as they don't change anything majorly, which they've done in the past a lot. <laughs> but we'll kind of see how that's going. Um, one of the other things that people keep on asking about is when is the one tenth um, Imperial Star Destroyer coming out? Um, so I can let you guys know that uh, that will be coming out when I hit 100,000 subscribers. Um, it's going to be the same kind of size and effort as the H44 to actually do that one. Um, so the H44 is my longest tutorial. I think it's like six and a half hours. That took me nearly a month solid of recording. My channel just went down the pan while I was doing that. What I don't want to do is just like stop everything. Like just stop building, stop having fun. And literally what I did with the H44 is after I came back from work, I would just sit down on the PC for like two hours every day for a month and then it was done. Um, that's not enjoyable. That's that's not what why I do YouTube. That's not why I play games. Like I, I just stopped playing games and I just worked on that and it was horrible. Um, and I never want to go through that again. So what I'm doing instead is I'm saying, okay, let, there's a target. If I get to 100,000 subscribers, I will have that ready for 100,000 subscribers. So what that means is I can I can like send like spend like, like three hours a week or something on it, and keep on building up all these bits for the uh, Imperial Star Destroyer one temp scale. And then finally there'll be a really 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 long video at the end of it for you guys to build a one temp um, Imperial Star Destroyer. Um, I know that people will be like, why can't you do it now? It's like it's just time. My God, it takes so long. Tutorialing takes so so long. Not just the um, physical video length, there's all the prep work beforehand, um, making sure that the version, because you're tutorialing something, especially something that's huge, you want to make sure it's as close as possible to, to the real thing and looks as good as possible, otherwise, like, you could make just a gigantic block, couldn't you, and just say it's a Star Destroyer and really it just looks like crap. You want it to make it look, like, fantastic. Um, so there's a huge amount of time that goes into just literally looking at pictures and looking at your model and going, ah, oh, I'll change a little bit. Um, and then obviously splitting it up and doing it layer by layer by layer or cut it up and it, yeah, it just takes ages. It takes way longer than you guys might think it does. So yeah, but that will be coming. 100,000 subscribers, that will be like my celebration video. Like, thanks so much guys. Here is a quick, like massive video. <laughs> it's a really long video on how you can make a Star Destroyer a really big Star Destroyer. It's still not obviously a one-to-one -one scale. I ain't never doing that. I'll never go above that. But um, I don't think I realized how big it was when I started building it. Um, it's just taken ages. Um, so yeah, once we kind of get through all that stuff. Uh, tutorials in general. Yeah, it's just because I've been just knackered um, after work. I've just not been able to do that much. Um, the Stargate kind of command thing is, is something I've always wanted to build. And actually, I find it really fun. It's one of those that, because I'm in this kind of like slump where I'm just like, oh my god, I'm so tired. Um, that's how I'm just like unwinding today at the minute, so that's why we're getting a lot of those Stargate ones. Um, that series will be finished and then we'll get onto the military base, and when we get onto the military base I'll probably make some new planes um, and helicopters and tanks and all that kind of stuff. I think I'll just like almost start from fresh and that's when the tutorials will start flowing out uh, when we kind of get onto that. Um, but yeah, um, that's why there's a lot of the Stargate ones. I, I like them. I really, really like them. But yep, so the medieval stuff will happen when we kind of like switch over to this new uh, server thing, it, even if it's just for Isle of, Isles of Dacris at the beginning and then we start expanding and moving things over. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, there will be more videos coming out as long as I get more energy. <laughs> I don't know if that is even possible. I think all it's going to take is it's just my body that's um, not used to that kind of mental melting um, and like really intense uh, it's like really intense and really not intense. It's really weird. It's a different kind of um, work, I think, and that's the that's the thing. It's a very different kind of it, and you know, using your brain a shit ton, and then you you go home and you're like, uh, I don't want to use my brain anymore. And as crazy as it sounds, um, especially doing the YouTube stuff actually, and and doing the tutorials and stuff does use your brain. Um, you don't want to be just talking like a weirdo for for a while. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. Um, if you have any questions at all, I'll try and answer them in the uh, comments, obviously. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll try and answer them on this video just to general ones. If somebody just goes like, can you build an Airbus A340, then that's not really a question. I, I want more questions about uh, questions or comments about the channel and about the, the switching to a mod and, and stuff like that, I guess, um, more than just, can you build, can you build uh, Bob? The builder, the gigantic statue. I'd be like, no. 
No, I won't answer those. So if there's like pretty good comments and good questions, then I'll definitely answer those. Weird ones, I'm just going to ignore. Sorry, but that's how it is. Because <laughs> I get so many weird comments. Um, anyway, guys, thank you so much for supporting me anyway, and thank you for like watching this video and, and listening to this video. Um, I think I've got Fallout 4 in the background, most likely, because I'm addicted to that game. Uh, yeah, I know, it's weird. It's come out for ages, and I've just like started playing it again. So, yeah, but it's all good. Right, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next video.